Hi everybody, in this video I'll tell you some last minute tips for your physics exam and how you should attempt your paper in order to score the maximum marks possible. Firstly, you should go for extra questions. I feel that when you attempt extra questions, your probability of scoring more marks increases. Since uh, the examiner will be marking those questions, he'll be considering those questions in which you have scored the most and that's how your evaluation will be done. Secondly, when it comes to derivations, you have to mention the diagram or the graph, whatever is required. The axis and um, the signs, everything should be labeled in that particular graph or diagram. Then you will derive the derivation. You can also encircle it in a box. For the numericals part, I would advise you to write it in SI form. If they've not asked you to write it in CGS form, then you can convert all the uh, given part in SI form and whatever the answer is, it should be in decimal form. If it's in fraction, just convert it into decimal. You have to maintain the structure of that numerical. First is your formula, then substitution and then your answer. And whenever you are answering a question, be it the definition or the theory, you have to mention the keyword. And in case you are not able to answer any question, then you can go for some diagram that you can draw, which is relevant to that question or maybe um, a graph a definition that's appropriate in that question. So that will help you to fetch marks. Just don't leave the question blank. For example, there is this Gauss theorem. So you can write your answer stating the Gauss theorem. If you're not able to recall it, you can go for the diagram or any other derivation that you feel is appropriate for that question. And of course, CISC is changing its pattern of questions. So you will have to clear out your concepts. If you don't have clarity of your basic concepts, then it will be difficult for you to solve those questions. Practice the PYQs and the competency-based questions at the end. Thank you and all the best for your exam.